All right, so next up, we're going to be making this scene right here. Um, and so I think this is basically a forest with some trees and grass, and it's pretty simple to make. Uh, so yeah, let's begin with Unreal Engine. Uh, so I'm just going to open my Unreal Engine again, and you're going to see that we are inside the previous project, which we just did, the garage project. Um, and so I'm just going to be copying the car from here so that we don't have to sort of texture it again and just import everything again. Um, obviously, if you want to use a different car, then you can just choose um, a different car and use the same process which I previously showed you to import another car. Um, so I'm just going to be selecting, right clicking this um, McLaren folder, select all descendants, and I'm just going to press Control C on my keyboard. And now I can just go to file, new level, and then I can just create a new empty level. With this, I'm just going to press Control S so that I can save it. I'm just going to call it um, Forest Car SS. And now I'm just going to be going to landscape mode. Let's create a landscape real quick. Create. We're not going to be sculpting or anything like that. And I'm just going to be pressing Control V so that we get the car here. And you're going to see that the car is perfectly aligned with the floor and it's perfect. Right, so next up, we're going to be setting up the basic lighting setup. And the way we do that is by going to Window, Environment Light Mixer, Create Skylight, Atmospheric Light, Sky Atmosphere, Volumetric Cloud, and finally Height Fog. And then I'm just going to go down to Skylight and I'm just going to be turning on the real-time capture so that our shadows look a lot more realistic. All right, perfect. So our car is looking pretty good and the whole scene... Um, is ready to be made now. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to be um, starting with creating the grass. Um, also, by the way, this was rendered inside of path tracing. Uh, you can render this in um, lit mode as well using Lumen. However, that's not going to give you that good results. I mean, obviously, path tracing, the quality of path tracing is obviously always going to be better, uh, but the render times are going to be much higher as well, right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be starting with the grass. So for the grass, what I did was that, was that I went to add quixel content. And then I can just wait for it to open. And so once you're inside the bridge app, you can just simply go to um, collections, actually no home. And then you can just go to 3D plants and then let's search for grass. You can obviously add any sorts of plants if you want, uh, but I'm just going to be adding a basic grass. And the one which I like the best is this Kukuyu grass. I think that's what it's called. Um, anyway, so you can just add either this one or you can add wild grass or thrashing grass or something like that. You can thatching grass, that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, you can just basically add any sort of grass which you want. I think this one looks the most realistic. Uh, so I'm just going to be adding that. Just download that. Medium quality should be fine. And actually, I would recommend you to not go above medium quality because we're going to be adding quite a lot of grass. Um, so, and otherwise, it's going to take a lot of um, processing power. Uh, so I'm just going to be adding that in my scene. Double click that. And so... Now you're going to see that we have this cross. Uh, so let me just minimize that. Now what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be going back to my foliage mode. And you're going to see that all the grass has already been imported. Um, if that's not the case with you, I'm just going to show you what to do. So I'm just going to delete all that. Uh, so once you have this foliage mode open, if you don't see any foliage right there, you can just simply select the first one uh, in the foliage. And then shift select the last one so that you have all the meshes selected. Then you can just drag it inside this foliage type and now you're going to see that all of our foliage is imported you're going to select one press ctrl a and make sure that all of them are checked and now you can just start to paint so you're going to see that um right now the paint uh the grass is being painted and looks pretty good if i just switch to path racing you can see that it's going to look a lot more realistic um so that's just um something you have to keep in mind um also you can just try to sort of understand any problems you may have so right now the problem is that the grass is way too large the size of the grass is way too large so i'm just going to be selecting all of the grass i'm going to go down to scale and the scale i'm going to set it to something like 0.6 uh the sale the minimum is 0.6 and the maximum 0.6 that's perfectly fine and now we can just start to paint you're going to see that it look, it's going to look pretty good but still even now i think it's a little too large um, and some of it is intersect intersecting with it. Uh, so how exactly do we take care of that? We simply um, select this erase tool, make sure that your erase density is set to zero, and then you can just start to erase the ones which you don't want. So that's something which you can do, and that's uh, pretty good, right? Uh, however, another thing which I'm going to do is that I'm going to control Z all of that, 